Right guys, hope you're all doing well, hope you're all keeping safe. So I'm now back off holiday and I had this strange urge to actually get in the firing range or shooting range as it's called in the Division 2 and test out some builds, which I never do, but I just had the urge. I don't even know if that's the right word, but I wanted to do it. Uh, specifically, I wanted to use the Foul because the Foul is one of my favorite weapons in Division 2. Uh, I think it's very underused. I don't think a lot of people use it. I don't see it in builds very often. Um, but today I wanted to kind of just go into to the uh, shooting range, test out some builds, uh, and just basically see what I can get going. And, and this happened, guys, which I'm going to show you now. So, as you can see, my DPS here is uh, 8.795 million. And I actually put out a tweet saying to, to, to people, is 8.3 million considered good DPS on a build because I don't go in the shooting range very often and I certainly don't look at these stats very often and, and a lot of people say well yeah that's that's, I mean, that's good um this is 8.8 .8. this isn't an optimized build but it, it is a build and it's one that's going to do uh, it's going to do a lot of work in PvE and PvP now what I will say and I'll get through to the build uh, through the build in a minute is um you got to be careful because it is an all kind of DPS build. It's not optimized, and I'll show you that in a minute. But you are going to have to be careful um, because you're going to have to be close to enemies, as you're going to see. So, um, yeah, 8.795 million. And, and generally, uh, if I just reset this, basically, the way this works, as you'll see in a minute, is initially, you know, I'm hitting 700 million. So I'm hitting nearly 7 million. If I reset this and then go back in again, uh, you could see my shots actually my shots were a bit off in that one So it was a little bit not so good, but you just saw over over so there was a million and 40 there as one hit and I'm hitting nearly 8 million DPS So that's kind of the build guys and uh, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll we'll go over it Let's find a, a nice little spot to go over it. Uh, how about right in here? Why not? Please don't walk into me anyone Okay build so foul so this is the weapon match using the uh, file sa 58 this is a one of my favorite, as I said, one of my favorite assault rifles. I think it's got good stability. It's got good accuracy. The RPM is a little bit on the low side, low side, but obviously your total damage is going to be much higher as a result. And this one's got uh, max assault rifle uh, damage, max health damage, and then uh, damage to targets out of cover. Now in PVE, health damage is very strong against warhounds and, and you know in heavies and stuff because their armor is not considered armor. It's actually considered. Thanks very much for that. <laughs> uh, it's not actually considered armor, it's considered health. So having that extra 21% is actually really, really strong. And also the times where you come against NPCs and they've got that green bar above their armor, that's also considered health, not armor. So um, actually this is very, very strong. Assault rifles are very strong in PvE and uh, PvP. Uh, more so in PvE, I believe, than, than PvP, I, I believe. But it's also got damage targets out of cover, as I said. But more importantly, actually, is the talent. Close and personal. Killing a target within 7 meters grabs 30% weapon damage for 10 seconds. So you are going to have to be within 7 meters, right, of uh, PvE. Which is why I said that this build is very strong, but you have to learn how to use it. Because if you get without the, get you know get out of that seven meter range, then you're really not doing a whole lot. You're losing thirty percent weapon damage, and actually there's probably going to be better options for you, which I'll briefly go over. The other, the, the better option might be using this one, which has got in sync, um, which gives you that fifteen percent extra damage. Because you could pop the shield, um, you could also pop a turret, and you're going to get that extra weapon damage as well as that extra skill damage. And and with that, you can still do uh, crazy numbers. You're still going to be hitting. 800 to 1 million plus um, headshots, crit headshots with this. So actually, if you're looking for something for kind of more sustain over time, something like InSync is probably going to be better for you. But if you're looking for that just raw DPS and you know how to use the build, then yeah, using this foul with close and personal is going to be the one for you. In terms of the secondary weapon, I'm just using the Nemesis for no particular reason, just because it wants to be on there. But this is the building question, guys. Now, I don't see a lot of people using Coyote's Mask very much anymore, just because there's so many more options in the game, uh, the games now, like Hunter's Fury, but, you know, Hunter's Fury only really works for shotguns and SMGs, really. Otherwise, you're losing 15% damage. So... I thought I'd use Coyote Masks in this, and I tested out other masks, and this just kind of did the most damage. Uh, mainly because, you know, 0 to 15 meters, you get that 25% crit damage. 
Now, you are going to be within 15 uh, meters. You're going to be within 7 meters if you really want to use close and personal. So you're always going to get that 25% crit damage and of course you know you can use it with allies as well and you're going to give it to them so it's not just for you it's for other people if you're playing with other people this works well and this one's got weapon damage crit chance crit damage and crit damage uh, generally speaking you want to kind of put crit damage on your mods here if you've got enough crit chance overall which this build kind of has uh, the next thing, and actually we'll, we'll get to this actually, is um, is the chest piece. So I've got a Fenris chest piece with um, weapon damage, weapon handling, which I don't really want there. I kind of want crit damage as well. Crit chance and then crit damage, but more importantly, it's got Spotter. Now Spotter is still a very strong talent in this game. Amplifies top weapon and skill damage by 15% to pulsed enemies. Now you're not going to, with this build you're not really worried about the skill damage as you'll see because I'm using the decoy, but that 15% you know, it works all the times, it works at every enemy that you aim on, um, as long as you're using the attack laser uh, which, you know, which you get for the uh, specialization. So if you're using the attack laser, which it just makes it very, very easy. If, if you don't want to use that, then you could just put something else on, but you know, you could put an extra 5% crit damage. But honestly, guys, you might as well just use the attack laser. It's really, really strong. Uh, in terms of the actual um, attachments here, we've got crit chance on here and we've got crit chance at the end for the muzzle just to try and get us close to that 60%. And we're, and we're nearly there. So that 15% extra damage is all the time against each enemy that you aim at. It's really, really strong. And with Fenris giving you that 10% assault rifle damage, you can't really go wrong there. Uh, in terms of the holster itself, we've got Providence, headshot damage, and crit chance. Now, I'm playing on console, so hitting headshots isn't as easy as, say, playing on PC. But it's still very doable with the foul. So, weapon damage, crit damage, and crit chance on this particular piece here. In terms of the backpack, again, this is kind of personal preference, but I've gone with Vigilance just to get the most damage possible. Now, it says taking damage disables this bus for 4 seconds. I am running a shield, so that kind of mitigates that. It allows me to use Vigilance more. But four seconds isn't a lot, guys. You know, if you just sit in, when you go into cover, you pretty much that four seconds are over and you get that 25% back. Now, uh, when I'm using decoy, it means that a lot of the times enemies are not even going to be aiming at me. They're going to be aiming at the decoy. So actually, you'll find that you don't take a whole lot of damage a whole lot of the time. And when you do, it's only four seconds. So you, you do find that this 25% is up most of the time. As you can see, this isn't max roll by any means. Uh, we've only got 11% weapon damage on here. We've got crit chance. Crit damage is low at 9.2%. And then we've got a crit damage mod. So I could get this much better is what I'm trying to say. In terms of the gloves, now I did test this out. So, weapon damage, crit damage, headshot damage. Um, now, I probably want crit chance here rather than that headshot damage, if I'm being honest. Um, but, um, unfortunately, I can't get it. So, I've got my Grupo Sombra here for 15% crit damage. Now, I did test this against um, contractor gloves because contractor gloves gives you 8% damage to armor. Um, of course, you only get uh, the LMG damage on there, so you don't get that 15% crit damage. And what I found is actually, um, this is better. That 15% is better. It, it's more consistent. It does more damage. So I've gone with that. I've stuck with that. So th that's that's really it. It's, it's just better. So yeah. In terms of the knee pads, um, the 8% damage targets out of cover, again, I tested this against other types of knee pads, against the Seska, which gives us the crit chance, and other ones with crit damage and stuff. This is just better. It just does more damage. So uh, I know it's got the 10% rifle damage on there, which you're not really going to use here, but it just does more damage than anything else. It's, it's kind of best in slot. So I've gone with this for that damage to targets out of cover, and I think it's because that damage to targets out of cover is multiplicative. So that's why it does so much damage. I mean, in many ways, if you wanted to take advantage of that, you could run, uh, I don't know, maybe. You could probably just run a classic M1A here. You could even run, yeah, with In Sync. You could run that there. You do crazy numbers on that with InSync as well. Um, so I don't believe you You can only get the... Um, oh, no, you can get the laser pointer here. So you could run an M1A with a laser pointer as well, which means you would... Do you know what? I've not even tested that. I bet you could get some insane damage out of that. Um, so, but let me just quickly... Uh, let me just... Excuse me. Let me just run down here and, and try the M1A. I've not actually tried the M1A. This was more of a, a, a foul video, but I just wanted to see... What the M1A does, um, and I'm pretty sure it's going to smack. It'll do one over 1 million damage I easily, I believe. Um, let me just quickly test it out here. I don't even know what mods I've got on this, so let me just... Yeah, it's like 3 million. So we got 8.3 million DPS there on, on the M1A, which is to be expected, to be honest. So in terms of the skills, we've got a shield. And, and again, that's merely so that, you know, 
you are going to be close. You're going to need something to keep your life for that little bit longer, something to keep that vigilance up. You are going to find that you melt enemies pretty quick. So unless you get surrounded, then you shouldn't be in that much trouble. And again, that's why you kind of need to... I've got such an itchy nose. <laughs> That's why you kind of need to be aware of your surroundings and use the build as it, you know, you're going to have to be a little bit more conservative. Um, use cover as much as possible. And I'm using the decoy as well, just so that, you know, threat is away from you. So, you know, enemies aim on that and you get the opportunity to use this as much as possible. Um, but yeah, that's, that's really it. In terms of stats here, guys, I'm at 52.1% crit chance. So it's a little bit on the low side. I'd want it at 60. Crit damage is 132.5% on there as well but yeah that's it for the build video guys if i'm being honest this is a uh, again really strong in pve uh particularly in pve it could be good in pvp although what you'll find is that in pvp if you're using close and personal you're probably going to find that actually most of the time uh, people are going to run smgs or shotguns and they're going to out damage you or, or just one tap you so it's probably not as good uh if you still wanted to use this in pv uh pvp i'd probably use this file with in sync um to be honest but even then, there's probably better builds out there, if I'm being honest, guys, than, than this one. This is predominantly for PvE, and like I said, you're going to be doing crazy numbers on this. I wonder if I can use a named with this uh, M1A and see what uh, DPS we get. I mean, we're looking at 8, 8 million, aren't we, basically? Yeah. So, there it is, guys. Thanks very much for watching. And until, I believe, tomorrow's video when we get the patch notes for T11.1 along with the vendor reset video. Until then, epic out.